Hi everyone, it is iced tea time. I am here to steep up three different delicious iced teas with you and talk a little bit about some of my favorite ways to make these iced teas, um, some of my favorite pieces of teaware, and just try to keep this really simple for you. So some of my very favorite teas for making into iced teas, um, cocktails, mocktails, sangrias, all that kind of fun stuff is our fruit tea line. And we actually have a really extensive line of fruit teas. In fact, I think as far as our loose leaf tea blends go, our fruit tea line is the biggest line that we have. And I think that's because we have such a great time creating fun drinks with our fruit teas. So they're all sold as loose leaf blends. We're also gonna chat a little bit about our naturally sweet tea line. And this is a line that is really amazing. This is, this is one of the bags here because we have created this line to be an iced tea line already sweetened. So it really takes the guesswork out of how to make an iced tea and you know how much sweetener to add. We've used whole stevia leaf to sweeten these. So we are talking about for a cup of iced tea, um, and I'm gonna go over the flavors of these because we have really, really great flavors. Uh, let me just make sure I've got this right here. One calorie and zero grams of sugar. And because we use whole stevia leaf and not like a processed stevia, the stevia is not strong. I And it's not that sickly sweet. You know, sometimes you buy things that have been sweetened with stevia. Um, I've bought some canned beverages in the past that are, they're so almost sickly sweet that I cannot drink them. I find these to be perfectly sweet and lovely. We've got, there's a blackberry, um, a raspberry, a peach, a lemon, um, strawberry and limeade. We've got great, great flavors. And these basically were crafted to be more like, um, like a traditional sweet iced tea. So, but the first one we're gonna make is actually a fruit tea. We've introduced our first fruit tea into this line just this past season and it is so good. It is strawberry limeade. So there is no actual tea in here. This is just fruit bits. We've got apple pieces, rose hips, hibiscus flowers, stevia leaf, lime leaves, orange peel, strawberry pieces, lime slices, lemongrass, grapefruit peel, and natural flavor. So in keeping with our all natural commitment, we've got just a great ingredient lineup in there. Um, and so let's, this one I already have steeping. So this is something that I love to do. I'm a, bit, a little bit obsessed with sparkling water. I love, love, love sparkling water and I love steeping my fruit teas in the sparkling water um, to just amp up those flavors and make a really, really refreshing drink. So, what, and what I like, the reason that I chose one of the naturally sweet teas to use this time is because I wanted to talk about the fact that if you are someone who does like your drinks a little bit sweeter, maybe you're not a fan of sparkling water, but you enjoy pop or things that are a bit sweeter, this tea will sweeten it up without adding that sugar and without adding those calories. So like I said, this drink that I'm making here is one calorie and zero grams of sugar. So this is our breezy tea infuser. This is one of my favorite little steepers that I use. Um, I often use these for making a quick glass of iced tea because what you can do is add your tea in here, pour your boiling water in, let that steep, and then you're simply gonna pour it over a cup of ice and you've got like an instant cup of iced tea. You can make a really, really quick cup of iced tea. What I've done here though, is I've skipped the water altogether. I steeped my tea and I took two scoops of this. I should show you what this tea looks like. I took two scoops of my um, sweet limeade tea here. It's got some beautiful chunks and pieces of strawberry and lime and all kinds of good stuff in there. And I put into my breezy. I've got my bubble cup here with my ice ready to go. I steeped it directly in the lime bubbly. So I just poured this right in with my tea leaves. 10 minutes. If you're steeping something with a carbonated beverage, beer, ginger ale, sparkling water, wine, you know, whatever, cider, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, that's all you need. It will actually steep quite quickly when it's a carbonated beverage. So here we go. And this thing is super fun because it pours out from the bottom. So we just set this over top of my glass and it just simply pours out the bottom, fills up my glass. And just like that, we've got a beautiful spritzer. So let's give it a try. So 
delicious. Now, of course, what I would do with this one is add in a little bit of extra lime. And if you're looking to make a cocktail or something like that, what I've done, and actually with this tea in particular, I've added, um, I muddled some limes, some mint leaves, I added a shot of gin, and then I poured this over top. And I had a great little gin smash. So there you go. You could add this in as a little squeeze of lime. You can make it pretty with your little lime wedge. So delicious. Okay, so I can sip on that while we chat. So that's the breezy. That's one way you can have some fun with steeping up your iced teas. Now, if you're looking to say, maybe cut out some sweet drinks, that's what I love helping my clients and customers do. Um, say you you want to replace iced tea crystals or pop, something like that, that has a lot of sugar in it. Um, let me tell you about my family win here. My husband has always been a tea drinker, iced tea drinker in the morning. He's not a coffee drinker. He will drink hot tea, um, but he likes iced tea in the morning, a couple glasses of iced tea. His whole life he's drank that. And so it's always been the good host or the Kirkland crystals, right? And so we're talking like close to like 70 or 80 grams of sugar in those two cups of iced tea. So I have switched him over to our naturally sweet teas. I make pictures of this for him and have them in the fridge. He absolutely loves them. The raspberry is his favorite. It's actually probably my favorite too. It's so, so good. And um, that is a huge, huge win for us. That is a lot of sugar that he did not need and he does not have anymore. So big, big win. Now, okay, let's do that next. So I'm going to use our prism teapot this time. I wanted to show you guys this. It is beautiful. It is glass. It's actually borosilicate glass. You can actually boil water on your stove top in this. Um, I have induction. Induction does not work, but gas or electric, it absolutely works. It has a nice long infuser as well, which I really like because if you just wanted to make like half a pot of tea, you can do that. So you can use this for making a nice, using as your, your everyday teapot. You can also use it to make iced teas in, which is what we're gonna do here. So this time we're gonna use a hot steeping method to make a quick glass of iced tea. And again, I'm gonna use one of these naturally sweet ones and I'm gonna use the peach this time. Because this is a black tea, we only wanna steep this with hot water for two minutes. So we're gonna add our tea into the infuser. Oh, this tea is so good. If you're a peach fan, you would love this. I'm just gonna do about, um, this is my pot scoop. So about one and a half of those. And I've got my water boiled here. So we're just gonna pour in my hot water to cover those tea leaves. There we go. And I am going to set my tea timer for two minutes. Oh, where are we here? Two minutes, this is a great little tea timer because it has all of the tea types on it. So you don't have to ever over steep your tea again. So you always have a perfect cup of tea. So we'll just let that steep and then we'll remove those tea leaves. Um, now what I often do, I don't too often do a hot steep. I am typically a cold steeper. So what I usually do is I take my jug. This is another one of our favorites. This is the perfect tea pitcher. It is bigger than this one. It's almost two liters. Um, and it has a strainer in the lid. So that way it's better for cold steeping where you can leave your tea leaves in there and you don't have to worry about over steeping them with that hot water. And then when you pour it out, it strains the tea leaves. So this is the one that I use a lot for when I make fancy like sangria like that. Um, but it's also great for, um, you know, making any sort of an iced tea. So I would add three of my pot scoops into this pitcher and just pour, fill it right up with cold water, pop it in the fridge really, really easy, and then I steep it overnight. Like, you wanna give it like a good 10 to 12 hours, typically if you're doing a cold steep. It does take longer, but if you're always thinking ahead, okay, sorry, you might've lost me there for a minute. Hope my Wi-Fi connection is having a few issues. Um, so, that is that picture. Now, another thing that I do a lot, cause I love, love, love my fruit teas, um, 
just as a simple iced tea. I don't usually add any extra sweetener. And a lot of our fruit teas, some of them are a little bit tart and some of them are a little bit sweeter. Um, typically, there's zero grams of sugar in them though. There might be some sugar that we use for a preservative, like we use a powdered organic cane sugar to coat some of the fruits as a preservative that might add a little bit of sugar. Um, but for example, what have I got here? The mango lemon sangria fruit tea. Delicious, like so good. Uh, two calories per serving and zero grams of sugar. So uh, grape soda. And you know, some of them, you might just have to try them without sweetener and then you might realize that you wanna sweeten it up a little bit because that sweetener can just sharpen up the flavors a little bit. But I love infused water. Like I love just adding you know, a chunk of pineapple or lemon or whatever into my water to infuse my water and just give it a nice light flavor. These fruit teas can be treated in the same way. You're infusing your water. The more you use, the stronger the flavor is gonna be. So it really just depends on what you like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our grape soda fruit tea. Now, this tea tastes exactly like grape soda. It is so good. And in fact, fun fact, it was our number one selling tea last season. Number one seller. So very interesting. Um, Earl Grey de la Creme was our number one seller for like, 13 years in a row, every season. And then last year, the naturally sweet peach that I am making, oh, my timer just went off, didn't it? Was our number one seller. And this year it was our grape soda. So let's finish this off since our timer just went off. I'm going to remove those tea leaves. This tea smells so good. I really enjoy making this into a hard iced tea. I actually will infuse my, what I did last time, anyway, I in, this is fun. I infused my vodka with our peach schnapps fruit tea. So I made a peach schnapps flavored vodka. Then I made this and then I would just add a shot of the, my peach vodka with this iced, add a little bit of like lemon in there. Oh, such a great tea. So we're just gonna add some ice to this. I'm just gonna grab my ice bucket here and we're gonna cool this down. So this is how you can just make a really fast iced tea by using that hot steep. And this little prism teapot is so sweet. how much of a disaster I can make here. There we go. Let's get rid of that. And so that ice is just gonna melt down your hot tea. You might need to add a little bit more ice. And then if you wanna fancy it up just a little bit, I've got some lemon wedges here and I've got a few frozen peach slices that I'm gonna add in. And there you go. Voila, you've got a pitcher of sweet peach tea, delicious. And like I said, there's other ones in this line that are so, so good. Okay, so there's that one. And then lastly, I wanna show you this because I love this. This is our personal tea press. And now let's see if I can remember what new colors we have this season. This one is back. This was actually with us a few seasons ago. It is back and purple, I believe. I want to, oh yes, I think there's a teal and there's a purple. Um, oh yeah, I just seen them. Okay, there we go. Those are um, the three colors there. The darker purple, the white, and the teal. And then these are our slim sip tumblers, which I will also show you. Um, but this tea press is great for making a hot cup of tea. Um, it's just like a press. It's exactly what it is, is a press. You would add your tea leaves in there, add your hot water, Steep for two minutes, three minutes, whatever it is, and then just push your tea leaves down to the bottom, ready to take on the road and sip. It's got a spout to sip from. It wouldn't be 100% spill proof, just an FYI. It's not something you're gonna like throw into your bag because um, it would leak a little bit, um, but it's a great to go tumbler. But I love using this as my iced tea press also. So what I do is I just, Take one of my favorite fruit teas, any one, doesn't have to be a fruit tea, of course, but that's my favorite, iced teas. So I'm taking the grape soda, 
show you this here. It's got nice big chunks of like, I think there's pineapple. Yeah, there's pineapple, papaya, blueberries. I think there's elderberries. There's all kinds of good stuff in there. I usually use about two of my cup scoops here. Let's use just a little bit more, two to three. And then all I do is add my cold water, fill it right up. And then we're just gonna put that like this, pop it into the fridge, let it steep overnight, and then in the morning just press it down and take it to go and your iced tea is ready and it's with you. This is double walled, so it will keep it nice and cold for four to six hours probably. So. It's a great little steeper and a great way to make a quick iced tea. So you can have some really healthy, hydrating sips to take with you. Um, so the only thing that we didn't really cover here is um, sangrias and things like that. So if anybody's interested in seeing a, a, a demo for an actual sangria using some wine or cider or something like that, um, and we also have this, I should just show you real quick. Another piece of teaware is our tea canter. So this is lovely. It, it holds two bottles of wine, but what I do is I make my sangrias in here. And this, how we teaified it is we have put like a strainer in the lid so that you can add your wine, you can add your water, your fruit tea, um, some frozen fruit or whatever else you wanna add, maybe some bubbly, and then you can just pour it and it strains out all of the bits and tea leaves as it pours. So this is a lovely, lovely thing. And I have so many recipes. Um, one other popular way to make iced tea, especially if you like things a little bit sweeter, is to just steep a fruit tea directly into lemonade, do a cold steep overnight. Just, you can make your lemonade from scratch like I usually do, or use a concentrate or a powder, whatever it is, however you wanna purchase or make your lemonade, add a couple scoops. If you're making a whole pitcher of your fruit tea into that and it's it's very much like a Starbucks refresher. Sweet, delicious, that extra sweetness does really amp up the flavors and it's really fun. So anyways, there is a little few tidbits on our iced teas. If you have any questions for me at all, just let me know um, and I did post a full list of the fruit teas on one of my posts today that had all of the tea stuff on it all the different tea types. Um, but make sure that you browse the catalog because we have got um, a lot of great stuff in there. I've got the links pinned up to the top of this group as well. So the shopping links and the catalog links so that they are easy to find. And if you have any questions, please just feel free to reach out, comment in, ask your questions and we can chat. All right, thanks guys, thanks for watching.